Hello everyone and welcome to the Writing a Film Script presentation for Summer Film Camp 2022. If we were in person right now, I would have a question of the day for you. The overview of today is going to be learning about different components that go into creating a film script and what is needed for it to be considered a complete script, and learning about the key concepts a storyline needs in order for it to be a clear and smooth running film. The objectives for writing a film script are you will be able to write a storyline, you will be able to identify what goes into a film script, you will be able to design a film script for your final film. So a film generally has three parts, a beginning, climax, and end. The beginning needs to have an introduction of the characters, needs to have a main goal, and needs to have an establishing shot. The climax is when the conflict arises and is when the character is taken to its breaking point. The purpose of the end or resolution is to tie up all the loose ends. For the beginning, you should have a protagonist and antagonist. A protagonist is the hero of the story. If you want, the protagonist could have a flaw within them because it allows the audience to relate and it provides room to grow. An antagonist is one that opposes the protagonist. The antagonist could be a bad guy, but it doesn't have to be. It can be bad weather, bad luck, death, or even war. Some examples of an antagonist is Cancer in the Fault in Our Stars, the long-standing family feud in Romeo and Juliet, and the shark-infested tornado in Sharknado. Now we'll be talking about the climax. If there is no climax, there is no drama, and without drama, there is no story. Make sure there is a clear climax integrated in your final film. And now for the end of resolution. The end of the story is to state if the goal was achieved and to tie up loose ends. So there are three basic elements to writing a script. Scene headings, action, and dialogue. For scene headings, when adding scene headings to your film script, make sure you indicate what scene you are in, whether or not you are inside or outside, where you are located inside or outside, and the time of day it is. And you typically just state day or night. There should be a new scene heading whenever there is a change in location, change in time, or whenever you feel that it makes sense. This is an example of a scene heading. Now we'll talk about action. Action on a film script tells a story and it is everything that the audience sees. Action can be a character movement that includes sitting, running, or crying. Action can be non-dialogue sounds such as cars speeding away, horns honking, and door slamming. Action always needs to be written in present tense. Here is an example scene with action. Now on to dialogue. Dialogue includes the character's name. When thinking about dialogue, you can also include a parenthetical, which is used within parentheses, but this is optional. Dialogue is the actual words that are spoken. Here is an example of dialogue. You have the character, parenthetical, and then the dialogue. So other key concepts of a film script are character emotion, interaction with objects, and camera angles. For character emotion, that can be body gestures and facial expressions, and to make sure to describe how a character is feeling instead of announcing it. And for camera angles, using different camera angles within your film enhances the overall delivery of it. Now we're going to be moving on to the activity. So for this activity, you will be assigned a topic for your sample script. This should be completed individually, either using Microsoft Word or Google Docs. You will then write a script for the topic you have been assigned, and your script needs to include the following. Dialogue, action, and interaction with objects, inanimate or physical objects. Once your script is complete, email or share it with me so I know it is complete and you can receive credit. And here are the topics and the student that is going to be doing them. And that is all I have for you today. Just know that if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me.